Hello and welcome. It looks as though YouTube is a long way behind us. It's just, oh, it's just got around to it. Good. Okay, doke. Good. Welcome. Um, good to see so many people along already for lunchtime. It's pretty good. Uh, however many it is. And uh, we're 15 now, I think. And um, right, today we're going to be making a pear. In case you don't know what a pear looks like. That's not what it looks like, but it'll do. Uh, that's one, in fact, I didn't make this one. This was one my wife bought before I started doing turning, basically, or on a regular basis doing turning. And uh, it's been kicking around the house for a long time. It's lost its stalk. But apart from that, it's not too bad. It's not bad shape at all. But um, I just thought I'd use that for the, for the photograph. Uh, let's welcome Peter in. He's here with us. There we are. Hello, Peter. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope the weather's being kind to you all. It, Tommy seems to have had a downpour and got absolutely soaked, but uh, we've actually got sunshine down here. Just, it's it's not strong sunshine, but it's it's bearable. So, yeah, it's nice and sunny, nice and sunny in Worthing as well. Is it? Oh, good. Yes, so the other side of the desert. We've got a bit of cloud, but it it is sunny. I mean, I've had to pull the blinds down. It was too bright. So, uh, so yeah, it's good. I haven't. I've said hello to everybody who was in early, but I'll uh, I'll let Peter tell me who's in when we start and but welcome everybody very good to see you 45 degrees in Sham El Sheik that sounds very warm Terry too much for me <laughs> okay look right Peter I'll put you back in the background mm -hmm. there we go and I'll uh, show the piece of wood we're going to use which one was it that one I think no it's not that one it's that one yep it's a piece of uh, wild mango. I have no idea where it came from. It came from a, a Dolman Timbers um, originally, but I didn't buy it. Somebody's obviously get, given it or I've won it as a raffle prize and that picture's frozen. So we'll try a different one. Try that one, that's better. That's it, that's moving now. Um, yeah, according to the label, it's come from uh, Dolman Timber. So, uh, that's what we're going to use. I've got no idea what it turns like. I've never turned it before. So it's it's always good to have a, a, something new. And uh, we'll get cracking into that, turn it around, and then start making a pear out of it. And there are lots of different ways of, of holding the timber when you're turning fruit. Um, I like to have a jam chuck. That's my preferred method. Uh, same if I'm turning eggs. I use a jam chuck as well. And... Uh, You'll see that later when we when we come to doing it. So let's stand up and get on. Spindle turning gouge, obviously. Okay, I'll be a... Oh, sorry. Yeah, Run Peter, if you like to. Thank you. Uh... Well, Andy H is returning with him first. Tommy's Workshop, Rex B, Michael McEwen, Sid Repurposing, ah, myself, Danny Glass, Chris Jobs, you know Chris. Uh, Ward Wilson, Brian with a Y, and Spain. David J. Heath, the guilty carpenter. You know, David. Doug Miller at Wood Spun Round. Hi, Doug. Hello, Doug. Uh, Chris Dodds, I think I mentioned. Ryan Green, Greenhaven Creations. Tony Smith. Hi, Tony. Terry Bartlett, Charmel Shake, based in Plymouth, uh, Neil M, if I have missed anybody, I do apologise, put your name in again and say, oi, you didn't mention me, and I will read it out again. That's 
better. That's round. It's pure laziness that I haven't gone all the way along. But I want to keep the label on this. I know what the timber is. If I want to come to use the rest of it, because I shall only need half of it, just over. So uh, that's why I've only done it that far. I could write it on there, of course, but as I say, it's pure laziness. So now then, we want to have enough to do that. Bit to spare. Yeah, it's, it's about there, so that's fine. That'll be plenty. Barbara Rose has just joined us. Oh, hello, Good Barbara. Barbara. She, she was up here yesterday. Um, I was going through making a pen with her. And Greg Alexander's come in as well. Hello, Greg. Right, that's... That's more than enough to do that. I'm going to use a different gouge to shape it because I like this one. Uh, da, 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 this end's going to be round. That end is to, no, we need to have a spigot on this end because it's going to go in the chuck, I think, if it's big enough. Bear with me one moment. That's 50, and I need somewhere written up there. Yeah, I thought so. It's 56. No, nope, it's not big enough. Damn. Okay, so we'll change the jaws when we come to that. Oh, no, I missed a comment from Barbara earlier. Thank All you right. for teaching me how to turn my first pen. I really enjoyed it. Good. I'm glad you did, Barbara. It looked fine when you'd finished it, too. So that's the important thing. And it seemed to work. So it can't be all bad. Rob oh, Cockrell would turn in as joined us as well. Hi, Hello, Rob. It was a pleasure, Barbara, anyway. Right, now then, I just need to establish what size. I need to make it for the F jaws. 38. Rex B's asking, how is mango turning, Andy? Like pine or lignum vitae, or do you need more time to assess it? It's somewhere in between. Um, <laughs> it's tear <laughs> it is tearing a bit along that. Can you see it? You can't really see it, can you? Yeah, you can. They're just there. That mm. is tearing a bit, but it's also mixed up with an interesting grain pattern in there. So it's, I'm going to have to be a bit careful with it. At the moment, I'm, I'm turning it fairly quickly at the moment, just with a spindle gouge, so, um, with a roughing gouge. But I shall make sure I use nice sharp tools and turn it, have the speed up, but, but turn it slower, if you see what I mean. 38, that's perfect. Right, then we just need to put a bit of a chamfer on there. We'll go in my F jaws beautifully. That should do it. Oh, phone's ringing. <laughs> How dare they interrupt? Yeah. Her. Alison's in, I think. Right, so I'm going to have to take which jaws? I 
Excuse me, as a chuck gun. Oh, there it is. Of course, I've got yes. that set up for later on. <laughs> Alison has just joined us. Afternoon, everyone. Andy, have you told them you won't be here next week as we are on not, holiday? Not yet, but <laughs> I will. You're very wise to remind me. So, uh, anybody who didn't get that, I'm on holiday next week, so I shan't be here. Which is which is a shame, but I'm I'm not I don't not taking my lathe on holiday with me. Where Strangely. are you going? Anywhere nice? Uh, Northumberland. All right. Somewhere somewhere fairly close to Annick Castle, I believe. Annick Castle, never heard of it. The Roth. So I can't remember the name of the place. But um, yeah, Annick Castle is where the lady, whatever her name is, has done all the gardens up. Beautifully done. Oh, right. It's quite an imp impressive place. It's near Newcastle. Basically, ah. Hadrian's Wall and all that. Uh huh. Right, so. Put that away over there. And. Do I want to take this off? Come on, decisions, decisions. It means I have to change it all over again later. No, I won't. No, I'll, ch I'll change. The, I'll change the jaws over on this one. Doesn't matter much. I've got to change them anyway. So F jaws, F jaws, F jaws. There they are. Just because the the timber wasn't quite big enough to fit the normal C jaws that I tend to use for nearly everything, so I've got to swap them over. So these ones, which you can see probably, have a much smaller capacity. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use that now. Right, so. These have been out of this for a long time now. Right, so number one is there. Number two is there. Oh, no, two goes up there. Number three. Number four. Given a bit of luck, oh, I did the wrong size, it doesn't matter, it'll grip it quite well. Right, tally ho. take that end off now not leaving it any longer just to get it out of the way I've lost my parting tool where's that gone oh knocking the camera around was that the one we were watching from no, no. that's all right then where's it gone it was there two minutes ago oh there it is behind me it's always behind you, isn't it? through there. OK. 
Okay, so let's trim that end. Slight recess, and we'll stick normal centre in. Small one which won't get in the way. Oh, uh -oh. My step centre's falling apart. Right, okay, let's change that over. I'll get there in a minute. Put a smaller tool rest on, which will be easier. Put that up there. and start to shape the the bottom end of the of the pair so that's going to fit into a jam chuck for doing the other end ouch chuck's bite it feels as though that's cutting quite nicely, but I'll find out when I stop it, obviously. In fact, it looks quite you're getting a nice finish off of it. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, it's spinning. Something's gone a bit offset. But... That's better. It's now decided to play ball and go round, which is uh, useful. Always a bonus. Oh, come on. I'm not sure if that's the timber that's causing that or me. But I think it's the timber. As if there's a bit of hard grain going around in there. Hmm. Making it bounce a bit. Oh, that's all. That's got quite a nice finish on it. It has got a shine to it in places. Mm. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Right. So now we want to go. It's not straight. It's making a. So sort of apple shape at the bottom. That shot's getting in my way.
Want your so end on that, Chuck? Sorry? Yes, Want I know. Your end on that, Chuck? I've got a couple of slight grazes there. Perhaps I should have used the smaller Chuck. I nearly did. Nearly is not good enough. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to turn it round in a minute. Change the chuck and do this on the other end. Okay, I think what I'll do, I'll sand that, take that nib off there, so I can then turn it round, put it into the jam chuck. Yep. That will all make sense, I think. Yeah, that's still nice and solid in there. So that's fine. You're not going to take your little knob off first. Um, I can, yeah, I can do. I was, I was leaving it on there in case I wanted to, to hold it. But actually, I can drill a hole for the for the clove. Except I've lost my cloves. But it's it's going to have a hole drilled from that end for the cloves to fit in to give the finishing oh, okay. bit there. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, you know, you're, you're right. I will do. You're, you're absolutely right, Peter. Let's take that off. As long as I do it gently, I should be absolutely fine. That's too high. Just thought it would save you sanding it twice. Yeah, that's true. It is true. One thing that doing these lives shows me every time is that mm -hmm. there's always more than one way of doing a thing. Absolutely. And as long as you're open-minded enough to accept that, then everything's fine. Right, now that needs to be a little bit hollow there, doesn't it? Because that's what pears do. Mm-hmm. Good, and then before I do anything else, I'll drill a hole. I'll guess the size I need for the um, clove. I can drill it out later by hand anyway, so it's not a problem. I'll just get a hole in there. If I do a three three mil hole, that'll be enough to get it started. Clothes vary anyway, they they taper as well. But that'll give you something to start it. Oh, it's hard, this timber. The end grain is pushing the drill bit around all over the place. I think I'll put that in there a bit further. Might stand a chance then. That's better. Ben Jammin's joined us as well. Hello, Ben. Afternoon, Ben. Richard Thielen as well. Hello, Richard. We're just experimenting with a piece of mango. See how it turns. It's not too bad. Reasonable finish on it. Straight off the tool. Wood turning by Barry has also joined us. Hello, Barry. So, I'm so intent on watching you turn, I was missing out on the, <laughs> missing out on the chat. 
can't do everything. You'd be multitasking, then that's no good. Yeah. It's not a man thing, is it? Roy's the boy just come in as well. He says, after noob all. <laughs> Hello, Roy. Oh, she got fat fingers. feeling this has come out a little bit small for my jam truck but we'll find out in a minute could always make a new one move this green paint on my glass paper just there is from the thing that we did last week I took it indoors after I finished it went to photograph it and discovered a flaming great tool mark right the way around it that just didn't show up out here got it in decent light and there it was so I had to take all the green off resurface it rub it down respray it <laughs> it's all good fun oh, yeah. <laughs> but it turned out well in the end so No, it's really dumb. I mean, it was a, it was a mark that you couldn't leave. You know, you couldn't get away with leaving it at all. Mm. Had to be, had to be turned off. But fortunately, it didn't affect the texturing. Didn't go deep enough for that. The picture you put up on Facebook was that after you'd done all that, or was that yeah. before? Yeah. yeah. No, it was after. Oh, you. Uh, the light caught it. As soon as I took the photograph and looked at it, I thought, oh, God, I can't put that on you on Facebook. <laughs> mm. So I'm proud of it. Jonathan Flynn has just joined us. Good morning, everyone, he says. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome. Typical Ben, he's saying, Andy, that's what Photoshop is for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm no good with Photoshop, I'm much better with the gouge. So, <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. I just, I, I honestly didn't see it out here. I mean, and you look at things fairly carefully, carefully, fairly critically, but I didn't see it at all until I got it indoors. Mm. It's a big old lump. Yeah, so as you say, you get it, get it in a, a decent light. Yeah, e yeah. Even going from like sort of the workshop out into proper daylight. You That's see right. The That's it. Yeah. And if the light's shining across the surface rather than straight onto it, mm. you see it even better. Yeah. Chris at Bailey Woodworks has joined us as well. Good morning, Hi, Andy. Chris. And all says. Hi, Chris. That's not looking too bad. That's fine. Now then, is it? Is it? No, it won't. No. That's not going to work. That's a bit of a pain in it. Mm. What have we got here? That was obviously a duke for something or other. I think I can get it to fit that. Yep. Yeah. We'll do that later. I'm going to... Um, what am I talking about? Yorkshire Grit. As I finish... I'm not singing. No, it's all right. You're, you're forgiven. <laughs> In fact, if I'm honest, I'd rather you didn't. 
I forgot to send and seal it. Never mind. Too late now. Doesn't make a huge difference. Mike Doyle has joined us as well. He says, hello, Andy and all. Hope everyone hello. today has been fantastic. That looks like a nice pair, Andy. Thank you very much. Well, most of a pair. We'll get the top done in a minute. I'm going to have to think of things to fill up the hour. <laughs> and Michael McEwen says, I must be off to my day of play in the tool store. Have a wonderful right. day, everybody. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for coming in. See you later, Michael. for that one I keep knocking this camera around here it's a good job it's not the one we're looking at dum de dum dum bit of that So, a bit of wax on the top of that. Does look very really nice. It's not looking bad, I don't think. I just find some more mango. <laughs> oh, another comment from uh, our friend Ben. With it on the chuck like that, reminds me of one of those giant dummy sweets. Yes. <laughs> Brian at right. Hartwood Turning just popped in to say hi. Internet is under investigation again today, so I'm on my oh, phone on 4G, which is just about works. Oh dear. Good Not afternoon, good. Brian. Hello, Brian. Not good. Joys are living in the province, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, now then. That's that. Now we've got to play around. Um, I don't want to part it off because I want to use the center to get it set up. Mm -hmm. The center mark on that end. So I shall leave it in, on, on, in, leave it as it is, and then turn it around and take the end off later. Um, Chuck, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So pop that off there. Now then, I've just got to hold that in place, which is the jewels that I took off of this, which are just here. Four, three, two, one, and then put these back on. That's two. I can very nearly see what number that is. That's number one, which is there. Number two. Four, number three. And 
then I think, yeah, we'll do it on that end. Stick that in there. We'll make another jam chuck since I've turned it too small for the one that I've got. Yes, yeah, just to just to explain what I'm doing. That's the jam chuck I was planning to use and it just disappears in there and doesn't grip and it's going to be too floppy. Mm -hmm. So I want to, it's even worse in that end because this, this, this is for taking 60 and 70 mil and this is 50 something. So we need to get it down to a bit smaller than that, which is 47. So yes, it's just under 50. That's why it's not a problem though. You get pairs in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. So we will turn that to give us a hole which is around the 50 mil mark and tapering that's all the jam chuck is kev so, at nine nine k creations has come in as well hello kev glad to see you along i just uh, made this slightly small for my jam chuck so i'm making another jam chuck as you do uh where's my Right, we're going to pop this along to the end of the bed so I don't jam my elbow on it. That's better. No, don't be silly. Don't need that. Oh, don't need that either. That's ne nearly there. A little bit deeper. Baz at Real Simple Things has come in as well. Hello, Baz. That should be getting somewhere close to it. camera a bit as well but it's still okay all right uh, which one are we on that one that one i have you right let's see if we can see oh, if we get right. that one the fire alarm's going off in my building oh <laughs> great hopefully is that where you gotta go no hopefully it's just a test all right okay Barbara Rose has got to get back to work. Would love okay, to stay Barbara, well, thanks for, all day. Thanks for coming in. She says thank, uh, thank you and have a great holiday, Andy and Alison. Cheers. Cheers.
must be getting <coughs> somewhere near. Aha. So it's a bit more off down there. And we'll be there. Close. So near yet so far. What's stopping it? It's not going in. Mark, the gentleman would turn us join us as well. Hello, Mark. So is that Mark? Sorry. Mark, yes. Yeah. Hello, Mark. God, I'm working up a sweaty. Not good. That's better. That's got it. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted to grip that nicely in there then i can start shaping this lot trim it off sand it and we're done just like that change camera right yes i can also or just that, that one move that one around a bit yeah it's something's out of true at the moment it's it's plain hard to get let's have a go at that one it's a bit distant isn't it that will do that one that one yeah okay that's good some something is not as true as it should be it shouldn't be making that noise and I suspect I think it's this I had trouble with this yesterday actually it's not quite in line It's not 
staying in there now. Right to find it. No, it's not right at all. Very odd. It doesn't want to give in. Um, it almost seems like your tail stock and headstock are not lined up. But that's it, right. Yeah, that's what I was just trying to do. I was fiddling yeah. with it without doing it properly, which I should do, because something is not is not lining up properly there. But it's quite easy to do if I take that out of there. Chuck key. These little things are sent to try us. Mm -hmm. And then, if I put that in <laughs> there, and then I've got the truing up bit, take the centre out of there, and put that in. You can see what I'm doing, can't you? Yes. Yeah. So if I put that into there, yes, it's, it's seriously out, that was. This should pull it round now to where it's supposed to be. Oh, it's pushing that off. <laughs> of course it is. Lock that up, that should be right now. So, let's take that out of there. And possibly the, the better way to test that is to actually put two centers in. This is the, the, the device that they sell for, for doing this job. Mm. But if you haven't got those, it's quite easy to check the centers. I'll do it just to show. Center in there, center in there, bring your tail stock up and they should point at each other like that. Mm -hmm. If they do, if they're actually joining, you know, pointing point to point, you know that your head and tail stock yeah. are in line. Just a little, little tip for those who don't have some of the other gadgets. Right, now then, let's see if that's made any difference. Oh, excuse me. what I'm saying now. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to turn the fan on. Uh, speed on. On the slowest speed. Doesn't wobble the lathe then. Right, now then, let's see what that's done. Cabot 9K Creations is asking, what is the tail stock end type? Sorry, what is the this bit? The tail Can't stock see it. end type. That, I'd imagine so. Yes. The the um, oh god, it's a cheap one I bought. A real cheapy one, Red Arrow. I found it on the internet, and it, it actually gave me that narrow. I wanted a, a small centre, and the one I had wasn't long enough, and so I bought this thing for. What would be cheaper than buying just the centre <laughs> in mm. in in Axminster or somewhere? And it, uh, it it's actually quite good. I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but I don't use it very often. That's better. That's that's gripping, and it's not making the noise. There we mm. are. Simple as that. 
I was going to say Barbara will know what I'm talking about because we had this yesterday, and that's why it was not set up right. And Steve the Wood Dude joins us as well. Hello, Hi, Steve. thought it might do that but hey it doesn't matter because we've got we've got rid of what we wanted to get rid of that jam chuck just is not actually gripping as well as it might it's probably because it's made a u which is a bit hard yeah i'll, I'll sand that off on the sander excuse me one moment Right, so that just needs a bit of sanding. I don't think I can get it to go firmly in here, but I can put that up against there because I've got to drill a hole in the top as well for the stalk. Somewhere there. Just nip it up lightly. It's not centered, but it doesn't matter because that one wants to be crooked anyway. Right, let's have a little a little sand of that, what the bits I can get to. Uh, start with that one. I know it's not centred, it doesn't matter. Right, so but basically that's the the pear shaped. Um, it's going to have a hole drilled in the top for the stalk, which is going to be made out of a bit of ebony that I've got kicking about here somewhere. There it is. It's going to be made out of that. And it'll be just a little short bit. But it, to, to drill it, I'm going to drill it at a slight angle. I don't want it to stick straight up. It's going to look silly. So I want it to be in there, slight angle. Um, but I'll drill that hole and I've made the, the stalk and I shall polish all that before I glue the stalk in but I've got actually because it when it fell off the lathe just now it damaged it slightly it's got a little nick you might be able to see it in there oh yeah. yes you can yeah mm. I've got to get rid of that and I think there was another slight one somewhere else but that's the main one yeah, there's another one on the opposite side. Very small, you probably can't see that. But, um, yeah, I can't see that one. So I've got a bit of work to do on that. It won't take very long, just do it by hand. Um, but uh, I don't want to waste time sanding silly little bits like that in front of you. So. Katie, the Cornish maid has joined us. Hi, uh, Katie. Hello, Katie. Very nearly time to go on, but... Okay. 
Okay, so now then. Uh, I've been going 55 minutes. We have indeed, yeah. I'm going to stop fairly soon because I've got to go and have my hair cut. Um, but all I want to do is to turn this little... What am I going to do with it? Oh, I know. I know what I was going to do. I'm going to do it with those. The pen, pen turning blanks. Uh, chuck jewels. Uh, it's in there. Bad practice that is. I'm only going to use two of them because if I put all four on, they won't meet. Well, they won't go small enough to hold the bit of timber I'm trying to put into them. So I'm going to have two on there. And because of the shape of these jaws, they've got, if you can see it, yes, you possibly can. If I drop that down a bit and swap to that one. Yeah, you can see it then. You've got these holes cut in in the jaw. So we stick the tip corner of the timber into those, as I'm sure many of you have done before with turning pen blanks and things. And that will grip it nice and securely. Like that. And you can do whatever you like with the rest of it. Martin Shepherd has come in as well. He's asking, Hello, Martin. Is this, a, is this a matched pair for next month's competition? <laughs> no, I've done them already. I did some bud vases a couple of weeks ago. Watch for that. Unless you count a pair that matches itself. If you, if you read the, the, uh, the introduction on... on on, on YouTube it says just a pair not a pair of pairs or anything else any other pair just a pair Quite nice turning ebony. Just it finishes itself for you. Mm. A bit like lignum vitae, only the sort of greasy timbers. They sort of do the job for you to some extent. Just want to get a taper on there. Something like that. Thin it down to about three mil bottom. is just do the top at a bit of an angle because I can I'll do that on the sand up So, where's the drill bit gone? It's in the chuck. 
Well, Katie the Cornish Maid's got a club competition tonight and she is entering. Good luck, Katie. Well done, yeah. What have you got to make, Kate? I don't know if anybody can hear this, but the gardener's come round to cut the grass outside. Oh, really? No, I can't hear it. No, oh, good. These these headphone sets are remarkable. Well, these aren't very good. I can hear it, and I've got my headphones on. But they, they filter it out for the rest of us. Mm. It's like when I've got the dust extraction on in here. I can hear it all too well, but the audience don't, which is which is good. I'm turning the lathe on to get my cordless working. It doesn't seem to do it. Yeah, I think that's a little bit clumsy, but. Anyway, there we are. There it is. So I shall come and sit down here. Take my ease. And that, well, you can see the, the stalk in the top. Let's put it over there, you can see it better. It's tapering, cut off at an angle. Do as best you make it look something like a stalk on a pear. I've got a little finishing off, finishing off to do on this before I provide it to the young man who ordered it. Yeah, can't find the hole now. That's it. There we are. It's, it's somebody came along with his grandma down at um, Ambley Museum, and they went to the wood turners, and there was nobody there uh, because it was a Thursday, and we don't often have people in on Thursdays. And uh, so our our boss man happened to, to bump into them. Brought them along to see me and said, could you make him a, a pair? So there it is. He's coming along to the the harvest fair we've got up in Pulbra in a couple of weeks' time to pick it up. Cool. So that's the story behind yeah. it. <clears throat> and, and there it is. As I say, I'll, get, I'll get, it finished, get it finished off. It's, it's the broad, Broadly speaking, it's done. It's a nice piece of timber, though. I like mango. It's uh, It's got some interesting... You can't really see it. The effect of the grain coming up round there mm. is actually, when you see it live, is actually quite stunning. But you can see the you can see the general effect, can't you? Yep. It's uh, it's quite nice, yeah. So, yep, and it turns nice. it turns quite well. So good. Well, I'm going to have to say goodbye because it's five past two now, and I was aiming to finish by two to go and get my hair cut because it needs it. I mean, you know, God, this one's nearly half an inch long. <laughs> um, so thank you very much all of you for coming in thanks for the comments and no Roy the gardener didn't set the alarm off <laughs> <laughs> yeah nice try though you gotta, gotta have somebody to blame <laughs> <laughs> yeah now I must do a bit more practice with, with jam chucks I think I haven't used that one that I made there for a very long time and I got the size wrong um, but it's not difficult to make, you know, as you, as you saw, mm. even when you've got to adjust, the, set the lathe up to be working properly. Um, it's still not difficult to do. So, you know, do have a practice with it because they're very useful things to have, <coughs> the jam chucks. I think that the, the old jam chuck would have fitted the, the other, yeah, the pair that I had as an example, that jam chuck fits quite nicely <clears throat> you know it fits it fits in there an absolute treat yeah um unfortunately the bit of timber i cut this from was not quite as big that's really what it that's what that's my excuse anyway and i'm sticking to it so <laughs> but um anyway he'll be pleased with that i think um some have polished it up finished it oh i'm sure you will yeah 
Lots of nice days. pair Andy comments coming in. Oh, good, good. good you know, this young Andy. lad, he's had, he had an apple already and he wanted a pair to go with it. So, so there it is. Good. Anyway, thank you very much for the comments. <laughs> yes, Dave, you're a little bit late. I've just finished. <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, it's, it's all on. It'll be on YouTube to, to grab very shortly. If you want to see it without the chat, it'll be on now. Um, but the chat gets put on a bit later when they've edited it, vetoed things they don't like and things, although there won't be anything in here they don't like. So, um, so goodbye, Katie. Goodbye, everybody. And it's been very nice seeing you all again. I'm not here next week. As I said earlier, or as Alison reminded me to say earlier, I'm, all, I'm on holiday, so that'll be nice. Going up to Northumberland, look at Hadrian's Wall and stuff like that. And um, I will be back the following week. So uh, look forward to seeing you then. Magic. Indeed. Good. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye, yep. Oh, I was, I'd was. i normally put you up at that point, don't I? I've lost my cursor. There it is. And there oh, you are. are. Yeah, there we are. Bye, everybody. I knew you were hiding there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Always hiding. Yep. Yeah. Cheers. Bye, everybody. See you, see you in two weeks' time.